Hello, Appalachian. So as a faculty member, you may want to give an online exam and or quiz to remote or in-person students, but you don't want them to, how can I say this, get distracted with other online resources that may help them with their exam and or online quiz. So we do have resources in place to help lock down the browser, and one of our main ones is called Respondus. So it is a good rule of thumb at the beginning of the semester to create a topic. You can name it something to the effects of exam and quizzes using Respondus getting started. And you can give a description to the students exactly what they'll be doing. Now this will be a practice quiz using Respondus, but it's not going to reflect on their course total. Also, you can add this very helpful link to our Respondus support page for students. This Respondus Lockdown Browser support page is very comprehensive on helping students get started and what to do if they run into problems. So now let's add the quiz to the topic. In the upper right hand corner, turn on edit mode. Select add an activity or resource. Select quiz. Now let's give it a generic name. You can give a description. Now let's look at some of the quiz settings. Timing. Lead timing open. Grade. Let's go grade to pass zero. Attempts allowed, let's choose unlimited. The reason being is because Respondus is machine specific. So if a student takes this practice quiz on their MacBook, and then they have to send their MacBook off for repairs, and they have to use, let's say, a family PC, they'll have to retake this practice quiz on that PC in order to load Respondus. Layout, nothing to worry about. Question behavior, nothing to worry about. Review option, uh, let's skip down. So safe exam browser, just leave that to know. And that's it, save and display. So now let's add a simple question. You will see that the maximum grade is set to 100. Let's change that to 0. Save. Let's add a simple question. True or false. Add. So for the question name, you can give it something generic like so scroll down, it really doesn't matter if they get it right or wrong, but the answer is true. Let's scroll down and save changes. So we have zero, zero. This will not be seen in your gradebook. So now your quiz is ready to go. Let's go back to the course page. You have your quiz under the topic, but now we have to add Respondus Logdown Browser. Go to the right-hand side and open your block drawer. Turn edit mode on, add a block. You'll see Respondus Lockdown Browser. Choose that. Now scroll down and open the Respondus Lockdown Browser dashboard. Find your Respondus Practice Quiz. Go to Settings. And you'll notice that it has not automatically activated Respondus. Choose Require Respondus Lockdown Browser for this exam and open these advanced settings. So the purpose of this is you want to lock students into the browser. You can give them an option to leave early and then you can just review these other options to see if anything suits what your class may need like Enable Calculator if you're in math etc. Now, save and close. So now, as a student, when they click on Respondus Practice Quiz, they'll see Respondus Lockdown Browser is required for this exam. And then they go through the process. And again, this link to the Respondus Lockdown Browser support page will help guide them through this process.